give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. irrespective of what the enemy sought out to do his plot but God has a plan this morning Praise for Lord us at this time I'm going to ask you to turn your Bibles with me to Psalms 149 Psalms 149 bless the Lord praise God hallelujah and I'll begin reading Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord has taken pleasure in, it, in his people. He will Beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in, in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-headed sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all saints all his saints sorry praise he the lord Amen. praise god we honor god's word by saying glory, glory be to the, the father and to the son and to the holy ghost as it was beginning now of it shall be world without end. Amen. amen i'm just going to open up in prayer at this time this morning god we come before you with a grateful heart with thanksgiving of praise this morning, God. Lord, we lift you up on high this morning, for thou art worthy to be praised. You are worthy from the rising of the sun unto the going down. Father, we give you honor. We give you praise, God. We lift you up above 
everything this morning for you are king of kings and you are lord of lords oh god you are the conquering lion of the tribe of judah this morning god for that this morning we give you all the praise god thank you for the week that has passed mighty god the enemy again had his plots but thank you for your plans which are good towards us this morning god so god here we are this morning oh god to lift you up oh god in praise and honor this morning lord god let our worship be acceptable to you this morning god let it come up as a sweet smelling savior unto you this morning god father god this morning let us come this morning and forget about what is happening oh god but unto you god we give all praise and glory this morning god let self be slain this morning god that we only see you god father god when we shall leave this place oh god let us say it was good for us to be here this morning oh god father we put the head into your hands this morning oh god we place him lord god into your care this morning oh god we ask oh god that you will surround him lord god surround this building even now with a fire god draw the sword even now this morning god lord let nothing into hinder our worship unto you this morning god lord this morning we put you before everything this morning oh god lord we leave everything at the altar lord god all our cares this morning god because you cure it oh god father god this morning we put the one that shall lead this morning into your hands oh god i pray for coverage this morning god lord you see and you know everything mighty god and we're careful to tell you thanks that you see, Lord God. So here we are this morning, oh God, on holy ground. We're on holy ground this morning, God. And we invite you into our presence this morning, God. Because if you're not here with us, oh God, it would not be worth being here, oh God. But God, you are worthy of it all this morning. So we put everything into your hands this morning, oh God. And we tell you thank you in the name of the Father. We tell you thank you in the name of the Son. And we tell you thank you in the blessed Holy Ghost. And we give you the praise, we give you the glory. And we, amen and amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord, somebody. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Let's give God a praise. Let's give God a praise. It's Thanksgiving season. Hallelujah. Every day for us is Thanksgiving, but according to man's calendar, we're in Thanksgiving. Amen, somebody. Amen. Glory to God. And this morning, we have a lot to give God thanks Amen. for. Amen. Amen. We have a lot to give God thanks for. Hallelujah. Glory to God. David said, let us enter into his gates with Thanksgiving. Amen. And into his courts with praise. Hallelujah. This morning I should be here standing and saying to somebody, all right, shh, now shh, quiet down for a minute because it's Thanksgiving unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, we want to give God praise. We want to thank him this morning for his grace towards us, his love towards us, his mercies towards us. Glory to God. He has brought us a mighty long way. He has brought us this far by grace this morning hallelujah and for that we ought to be thankful we ought to be grateful we ought to lift him high we ought to bless him glory to god nobody should have to push you to say thank you jesus nobody should have to push you to remember what god has done for you nobody should have to push you this morning to open up and say god i'm grateful i'm grateful for your love i'm grateful for your grace lord i'm grateful for your mercies unto me this morning bless the name of jesus father we worship you father we bless you this morning father we glorify you lord for there is no god like you you are jehovah the i am that i am this morning blessed be your wonderful mighty marvelous and great name powerful oh god all together you are lovely this morning you're all together worthy god you're all together wonderful and we praise you for who you are this morning we praise you for who you are you are jehovah the one true living god the most high god we praise you for who you are this morning that there is no god like you none can compare to you lord you are the most high god and we bless you this morning 
and we honor you, God, as we invite you now to come and take up residence in this place, God, to come and move in this place. This day is your day, God. Today it is yours, and we give it back to you, Lord Jesus. We come with praise on our lips for you. We come with thanksgiving in our hearts for the things that you have done, for where you have brought us from, mighty God. Blessed be your name this morning. Blessed be your name this morning, God. Blessed be your name this morning, Lord. You are worthy to receive, uh, worthy to receive the glory, worthy to receive uh, our honor and praise, worthy this morning, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for all that you continue to do. Thank you, mighty God. We thank you for strength. Thank you that when we're down, you lift us up. Thank you that when we cannot see our way, you make a way, God. Thank you for healing our sick bodies. Thank you for delivering us, God, from all evil. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that you are on our side. Who can be against us this morning? Thank you, Lord God, that you prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving your angels charge over us this morning to keep us in all of our ways. Thank you for not allowing us to dash our foot against the stone. Thank you for not allowing us to fall into the pit that the enemies has dug for us this morning. Thank you for not allowing us to stumble in the darkness. Glory to your name this morning, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for lifting us up this morning. Out of our lowly bar, out of our low places, in the valley this morning, you restore our soul. Blessed be your name, God, and we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I can't thank him for you. You have to thank him for yourself this morning. Hallelujah. Because only you know. You might have told me. But I am still not of the full understanding of what God has done for you. Only you know what he has done. Hallelujah. How good he has been to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I just encourage you this morning just to let him know how much you appreciate him this morning for all the things that he has done. So we thy people this morning, sheep of thy pasture, we give you thanks, Lord, forevermore. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So we thy people,
everybody giving thanks this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. We bless you this morning, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercies, Lord. Thank you for your permission. Thank you for protection, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Forevermore. Oh, I just want to thank you forever and ever and ever for what you've done, done for me. Blessings and honor, hey God, and glory, it all belongs to you, it all belongs to you. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, for blessing, for blessing me. Lift it up and say, I just want to, I just want to thank you forever, and ever, and ever. What you've done, you've done for me. Blessings and honor and glory, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Oh, I just want to thank you, say, I just want to thank you. Lift your hands this morning, hallelujah.
real in the middle of the real. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you spring up a well in my desert places. Thank you, Jesus, that goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord, that I will dwell in your house forever. Thank you this morning, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus, healer, sustainer, keeper, deliverer. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, 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 I Sing it one more time. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. Thank you, Jesus. My soul is Thank you, Lord. At rest. Oh, Lord. Come on, declare it. You need to declare it. Declare it.
is who you are. Come on, somebody give him praise. That is who he is this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, we check out the somewhere that says, I got the sinash this morning. You know when I can't see it, Jesus. When I can't feel it. You know when I don't believe it, God. Go work it out. Glory, I'm going to the person. Somebody you just need to trust him. You just got to hold on a little bit longer and trust him that he's going to work it out. He's going to work it out. And his timing is perfect. His timing is perfect. Yes, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. He was four days late for Lazarus, but he was on time. Hallelujah. He's working it out, somebody. He's working it out. Be encouraged this morning. He's working it out. I said he's working it out. Glory to God. Even when you feel so discouraged this morning, even when you feel like you're at the end of the rope, draw down with a little bit of faith, knowing that God is working it out. When I can't see it, oh, even when I can't feel it,
your mighty grace and marvelous name. Hallelujah. Mother Molly, you have a testimony. I'm going to break right here. I'm going to take a testimony from Mother Molly as we go into a little bit of praise songs. Come on, Mother Molly. You have a testimony. Come and share. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give God praise. Come on, somebody. Give God praise. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I am living this moment because of.
I don't say it very much, but I was here. I'm a mouth to Jesus. Yes. And that is what bring me through. And I'm very humble. Amen. Blessed in the name of the Lord. Yeah. I don't exalt myself. Yeah. I can't preach, but I know me knee. Yes. Because that is what God said. You must be an intercessor. And that's what I am. Blessed yeah. in the name of the Lord. Yeah. This morning, God is real. Yes. Let me tell you something. When I was in Jamaica, I went down in February and the COVID started in March and I wasn't doing well because I'm getting some hard blow. Because when you carry the mantle, yes. let me tell you the enemy hit you with a cruel yes. 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 And I know it because I've been there and I suffered but I never give up because he said I will take care of you. Yes. And I never doubt that word. Yes. Let me tell you something. I went to my prayer room and I was going back into my bedroom and I said, God, I am sick. And I said, you know where it's coming from. How am I going to make it to come through the COVID? And by the time I nearly turned up to my, prayer, to my bedroom, I hear the voice, nice like a calm voice. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. I had three tests. One at the university hospital. One at the airport, and one where they put me in the hotel, and three of them comes out negative. Amen. Amen. And up until day, don't have the COVID. Amen. I went away. Three people in the house had the COVID. I am the one that had to look after them, and I don't catch it up to now. Amen. 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 Who could it be? Amen. Who could it be? Amen. Stay in the attitude of prayer and fasting. That is your weapon to fight your warfare. I've seen God do some things and I cannot look back now. Amen. Three days of fasting in my prayer room, my cousin went into a brain surgery. That was our third one and she came out of it. And she's working at the hospital still until today. Amen. Let me tell you something. When you worship God, give him your best. Amen. And he will take care of you. No matter how you go and get tough, the monetary situation, the health situation, the condition. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I tell you I want to come in last week Sunday, you know. But me tell you I was not up. And I say, God, I go down on my knee for quite a while. I tell you, I'm having some hard fight, but I know it's coming from, and I know the reason for it. But I say, my God, live it. Amen. And I promise to worship him in spirit and in truth. And I said, this is the body. This is the temple. I said, take up your authority. Amen. Amen. I don't play church, you know. Amen. I don't play church. And when I see that people are playing church, it bothers me. Because you waste God's time. And I waste your precious time. Because your soul is supposed to prepare for glory. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, since I come to encourage you, no matter how you're going to get tough, I mean, you don't to your last cent. Believe God. Yes. Come, on. Yes. come on, come on. Yes. Look at my age. Who are you over this or this or this? <laughs> you hear me? But I know my God in whom we serve. Yes. And if he say, will take care of me, he will take care of me. I don't doubt him. I take him at his word and I lean upon his promise. Hallelujah. This is why. I am standing at 78 years old. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God. Yes. So if you keep working for the Lord, your payday is in heaven. Hallelujah. I said, no matter what rock you, I said, stay on your knee. Cry out to God. Yes. Because he's your source. Amen. He's your deliverer. Yes. He's your healer. Yes. And he is your sustainer. Amen. I'm Thank talking you. from experience. Thank because you. I've been there. It is a hard road to travel. And a mighty long way to go. When I was in Montreal. And I was 
praying and the Lord show me some things and when he give me a vision and show me the dirty water that I have to go into and when I have to come out of the water I want to hear a sickness after that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Talk to me, church. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes when you get knocked up, is the time you go to, to me city. Amen. And you have a little talk with Jesus yes. and make it right. Amen. Anything you tell me to do, I do it. Amen. That is the God Amen. in whom I serve. Amen. And he gave me children. All of these here are my children. Hey! And one is in Jamaica. Quite a few in Jamaica. <laughs> but every time I come up, they will get low. But one of them is still on powerhouse because <laughs> and she's having some war and I have to stay on my knees yes. in this country for prayer true. Thank you, Jesus. When God says I'll give your children, you must know how to nurture them. Amen. And set the example. But then yes. come on, come, Amen. come on, come on here. Amen. Jesus. Amen. But I suffer. Because the enemy don't like me. Like but it's all right. Amen. Because God I don't like him. Because me and him are not friends. So I'm not mixed with him. Amen. So when he starts, me know exactly where to go. Yes. Because I know how to hit the source. Yeah, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name yes. of the Lord. When I worship God, worship him in spirit and in truth. Live for him. Let all your likeness be in Christ Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Church, this is my few word. Keep on in the attitude of prayer. It's a weapon of your warfare. And sometimes when you see the darkness, and when you feel like your back is against the wall, and when you feel shut in, then you have a little talk with Jesus and makes it right. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord. Come on, praise the Lord, the Father Mighty. Amen. We don't have a lot of opportunities to give testimony. Amen. Praise God, but God is good. 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 God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Hallelujah. Come on, praise the Lord. I'm going to invite you to stand as we sing a, a couple more, and then Reverend Fleming is going to come and take us uh, further. But before before I begin to sing, I just want to welcome among us Sanj. Brother Sanj, praise the name of the Lord. God bless you be in the house this morning. Amen. Praise God. And we have a very beautiful young lady. I know Reverend Fleming is going to do the welcome, but I want to I want to say welcome to Sister uh, Honorine. Not, not, hold on. The, the one behind you, I'm coming to you. Honorine, right? And that is no other than Brother Stanley's beautiful bride. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, give God thanks. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. They are not a year yet, right? It's not one year yet. Huh? November would be one year. And look what the Lord has done. All the way from Cameroon. Glory to God. If you can praise God. Megan and and what's your name? Pastor Chin. Pastor Chin. God bless, bless you. Lord. Welcome, Pastor Chin. Sister Megan, we see you a number of times. God bless you. God bless you. I don't mean to single out anybody, but I want to recognize those who are here. You know, somebody else over there, Sister Marta. Is somebody else hiding in the back? Oh, praise the Lord. Can I have your name, sister? Dupe. All right, God bless you. Good to have you in the house this morning. Praise God and welcome all of you who are always coming Sunday after Sunday. Those who are online worshiping, tuning in, God bless you. Glory to God. Many are the blessings this morning, amen, that he has given unto us. Hallelujah. We're going to thank him for it. Glory to God. Many are the blessings that you give unto me. Blessings overflowing like a mighty sea. Lord, I want to thank you. Oh, you're to me. Thank you. 
to here in the city of Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Yeah, we worship under the leadership of no other than Pastor Oral Richards, that man of this house. Hallelujah. Our Moses, our psalmist. Hallelujah. Our apostle, hallelujah. Call a chosen of God. Been through the mill, and here he is on today. Play as David play unto the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, you better give God thanks. You better give God praise. Hallelujah. It's a good God. Come on, sing it. is filled with joy I should not have been here on today I should have been laying up in the bed or in the hospital but by grace I am here I am here I'm not going to give the enemy any recognition whatsoever he already lost hallelujah and I'm here to give God thanks on today Thank you, Jesus. as we celebrate this day as Thanksgiving Amen. and this weekend. Amen. I just want to acknowledge our founding Bishop Rupert Richards Amen. in the house. <laughs> Hallelujah. The father of the founder. We bless you, Lord. You, our co-pastor, Faith Richard. Hallelujah. Mighty woman of God, power strength. 
and the praise team that just led us in worship. To all our viewing friends online and our visiting friends here, I co pastors really recognize most of you, but I just want to say on behalf of my pastor, welcome you and thank you for being here. Amen. We acknowledge the cameraman, the sound system, the intercessors, the greeters, everyone. Amen. We thank you for choosing to be here on today. Amen. Amen. You may not see Lady Flemish, she's not feeling very well oh, under the weather, but it is well. Amen. amen and amen. And we are going to give our tithes and our offering and our overflow seed at this time. And those who did not swipe and insert when you arrive, uh, you may take a minute to do so. It is good grounds. Amen. Amen. To sow your seed. Amen. And I think the atmosphere is conducive. Yes. Amen. For great things to happen yes. and today. Yes. Having our pastor in our midst, I tell you, it is a joy. Yes. It is a blessing. Yes. Amen. Our intercessors, amen, and prayer warriors, everybody, we bless the Lord for you. We need your prayer, we crave your prayer, the musician, amen. Bishop Brown and Lady Brown is in the house, bless the Lord for that. So at this time, I'm just going to pause and just breathe the prayer over the tithes, the overflow, and the offering at this time. Could you stand with me in agreement? Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We honor you. We glorify you. We magnify your name because you are great. And there is none like unto you and none to be compared with you. We thank you for help this morning, Father. We thank you for strength. We thank you, Lord God, that it is you that equip us. You have given us power to get wealth. It is your will that we may be prosperous and be in good health even as our soul prospereth. And so, Father, as we give back to you now a portion that you have required, oh God, we give back with love. We give back, Lord God, knowing that you will multiply and you will return to us overflow, bountiful, mighty God. So right now, Father, we ask you to breathe upon the tithes and the offering and the overflow sea. Bless your people, that they will continue to be a blessing to this house. And as we reach our hands out to help those in need, God, you will in turn bless us. Father, we give you thanks and we say in Jesus' name, amen, amen. and amen. 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 Liberty all, help me put your hands together and make welcome my pastor, your pastor, <laughs> Pastor Paul Richards, as we come to do the God bless you, sir. God bless the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord another time? Come on, you don't sound like a crazy people. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord and forget not all his benefits. Come on, he redeemed us. He saved us. He washed us. Baptized us with his mighty Holy Ghost. And all Satan can do is look and cry. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah church hallelujah church i said hallelujah church my god my god my god shall supply all your needs glory to god i'm not where i used to be and I'm not yet where God is going to bring me to. But I'm on my way. Sometimes the road gets rough and rocky. And the rivers and the storms start to go back and forth. But he said he'll meet you on the other side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Something in my heart. Like a stream running down Make me feel so happy, as happy as can be. When I think of Jesus, and all he has done for me. You see, he doesn't have to do a lot for me to get a praise out of me. Just a little is enough to get me excited and out of my mind. Hallelujah. But when I think of Jesus and all that he has done for me, 
The prophet said, I feel like fire shut up in my bones. And it's hard to sit down on your praise and your worship when there's a fire burning inside. Hallelujah. Some noise must manifest. Some movement must manifest. We saturate this atmosphere with the blood of Jesus. We come against every satanic agent, every fiery dart, every arrow that is sent against this ministry in this sanctuary. We release fire on this altar, fire down the aisles, fire in every entrance, and we command every serpent on every altar to be crushed in the name of Jesus. You come against that spirit of confusion. You come against it in the name of Jesus. We bind it up and we send it back to its place of torment. I know Satan is mad, but who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Behold, I give you power to trample. Come on. Upon what? And what? And nothing of the enemy shall be able to harm you. You can't touch the spirit, man. You can't touch the soul. Hallelujah. That's why I don't have to be 100% to praise him. Hallelujah. I can praise him in spirit and truth. And it do damage to the kingdom of darkness. And somebody who's praising him out of fleshly heart. And running all over the place. Know how dangerous you are. Know the weapons you walk with. And the company you keep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you may be seated. Thank you for that welcome. Extend greetings to you, Pastor. Amen, Reverend, and all the others. I'm not going to go and name them all again. I can't remember them all. <laughs> Amen, but we welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. There's nothing like being in the house. There's nothing like being in the house. Technical difficulties don't happen in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I give God praise and thanks that I can be in the sanctuary. One more time. Glad to be in the service. One more time. Hallelujah. He didn't have to make us live. But he did. And we give him praise and glory. Hallelujah. There has been a spirit of confusion released against this house. Every time I get up and I announce it periodically, stuff always goes on. And so I want you to make that the top of your prayer list against that spirit of confusion. We know it will not overcome. It will not win. Yes. But sometimes these things can do some damage to some saints. Yes. And you some saints that are not grounded yes. for its shoes, but we come against it in the name of Jesus. Yes. Every confusion in this pulpit in the name of Jesus, we shut it down in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. God to, to God be all the glory and honor. Amen. I'm going to be calling Reverend Morgan to come and minister today's word. Amen. Praise God. Bless the Lord as he comes. Don't sit down on your praise and your worship. Amen. Let us. Hallelujah. Let us lift up the Lord even as this word comes along. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can we give the Lord a praise? Amen. Can we just continue to bless him? 
Amen. Just give God another praise. It's Thanksgiving. Glory to God in the hands. I said it's Thanksgiving. Give God a praise. I know you have been worshiping right through, but just give God a praise. Give him a praise again. It's Thanksgiving. Glory to God. Glory. And if you are a little limited with your praise, give God praise for our pastor. Just see him. God, give God praise. Just hearing him. Glory to God. Give God a praise again. Bless God. Give God praise for the breath you have. Give him praise for the ability, the flexibility. I say give him praise. You're still in your right mind. You still can declare who he is. You still can acknowledge who you are. I say give him praise. Give him praise. Oh, glory to God. Let everything that I breath them down. Praise him. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him. Glory to God for his mercy. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, my God. The presence of the Lord is thick in this house as oil. Glory to God. As what pastor said, there is no other place. He'd rather be than in the house of God. Give God a praise. There's something here. There is electricity. There is a coming together. There is, oh my God Almighty. He said, for Satan, not the assembling of yourself together. So when we come, hey, 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 hey. Everything that's been here, we want to leave with it. All the blessing that locked up, I want to leave with it. And all the burdens that I carry, oh, I want to cast it. Hello, yes, somebody. I say, give me my praise and, uh, for another half a second. Uh, give me my praise. And, uh, you know what it takes here to be here. I say, give me my praise. Hey, hey. Laura. Oh, my God. You still have your shout. Uh, you still have a praise. Uh, you still have a wave. Uh, you still have a move. Uh, you still have a prayer. You still got your worship. Uh, hey, hey. You still have the Holy Spirit. You recognize God and He recognizes you. Bless Him, somebody. Hey. Glory. Glory to God. Hello, you're somebody. My God, we're going to get in the Word. But I got to give God praise. I know where I'm coming from. 240 volt. Run through this body. Drop head wheel. Doctor said I would be a vegetable, but here I am today. I said I got to give God praise. You have been through your valley. You have been through your flood. You have been through it. You have been through hell. And you are back. Bless him. Hey, hey. Bless him, somebody. Who have it take some? But you are still here. We still threatened by some. But I have to dear to oh God give him a praise. Glory. Oh, please forgive me if I get excited. Hello, here's somebody. Please forgive me if the fire shut up and I keep can't keep quiet. Please forgive me. Hello, here's somebody. Arise me. If I don't praise him, uh, wow, it's me. If I don't declare, oh God, uh, Jesus said, uh, My God, to the one leper, uh, we are the rest. Uh, hello, yes, somebody. Uh, but if I'm the one leper today, uh, I come to give him worship. Uh, I said, I come uh, to bless him. Uh, if I'm the one leper, uh, The blessings of the Lord, it make it rich and had it no sorrow to it. He's our refuge and our fortress, our God, and in Him do we trust. His truth is our shield and buckler. Hello, you somebody. And we bless God. We give Him glory. We're living in a world that is an anti-God. 
We live in a world that everything that God said is an abomination. It has been flaunt over. Hello, here's somebody. But there are some few that are in Sardis. The world didn't carry them away. Hello, here's somebody. We have kept our rope wash in the blood. Give him praise and give him glory. Hallelujah. You can have your seats for a minute. Amen. I must greet the Holy Spirit that is actively moving in our midst. Amen. Glory to God. And I must recognize with all diligence our bishop and founder. Glory to God. Put your hands together. Amen. Glory to God. Rupert Richards. A man I love dearly. Amen. And our pastor. Put your hands together for our pastor. A man who have been there and done that. You know, I was just here, Rev. And I'm going to go in the Word. And, and I was just looking at you up here. And, and I remember when Jacob went over Egypt. And fear asked him to tell us, tell me about you. He have heard of this man. But sit and tell me about you. And the Bible said that Jacob told the man everything. He said, I'm full of age. And I'm full of experience. Yes. Hello, here's somebody. Fear's life was shifted by the man's testimony. And, and we here as brethren, we will get excited. And some of the folks who are viewing or just visiting might not know. But believe you me, we here in this house have our right to give God praise when we see our pastor. Amen. Glory to God. So when pastor have the time, he will sit down with anyone and tell you about his life. Amen. Bless God. Lady Faith. I greet you in the precious name of Jesus. Oh, I have no words to describe you this morning. But you are good in the Lord. Amen. Bless God. Amen. I greet also the ministers, Dr. Fleming. Amen. And all the ministers in the house, all the clergy, as my pastor said, you don't want to call them and get in trouble. And I confirm that. I second it. Amen. Amen. But I greet you in the precious and awesome name of Jesus. And I'm happy to be here with my family. Amen. I continue to pray for us as we keep on keeping on in the Lord. And all the visitors, um, Brother Stanley, wife, I'm saying it's not a year yet, and they are looking so much alike. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. You see, you see, I'm, I'm in the business a little while. I'm looking more like Sister Sandow. <laughs> Amen. Bless God. <laughs> Amen. Bless God. Oh, glory to God in the house. It's a good place to be in the house. Amen. Glory to God. So we give God thanks and praise for today. Amen. And if you have your Bibles, time is going. Um, quickly, i just like to stand just for one more time. And turn to Ephesians 2, 1 to 10. And I read for the sake of time. Amen. Ephesians 2, 1 to 10. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. We are in, in time past, he walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the here, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also all had our conversation in time past in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has put us together with Christ. By grace he has saved, and has raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. By grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship 
created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. And for a topic or a theme this morning, from the dust I rise. Amen. Uh, we will just take our seat because I thank God for pastor who have prayed the coverage prior. Amen. Give God praise and we give him glory to God in the highs. So before we go into our text, we just look at the background setting and historical and theological theme of the book. Amen. And this book, Ephesians. The letter is addressed to the church in the city of Ephesus, the capital of the Roman providence of Asia Minor, that's modern Turkey. Yeah. The letter was written by the Apostle Paul from prison in Rome according to Acts 28, 16 to 31. The church at Ephesus was plagued by myth and endless genealogies and by such ethnic and unscriptural ideas as forbidding marriage and abstaining from certain foods. Although those false teachers did not rightly understand scripture, they propounded their ungodly interpretation with confidence which produced in the church harmful, oh glory, harmful speculation rather than the stewardship from God that is by faith. Can we give him praise? Amen. 30 years or so later, Christ gave the Apostle John a letter for this church, indicating his people had left their first love for him, according to Revelation 2, 1 to 7. A key theme of the letter is the mystery of the church, which is that the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body and partakers of the promise in Christ through Jesus, the gospel. A truth completely hidden from the Old Testament. All believers in Jesus Christ the Messiah are equal before the Lord as his children and as citizens of his eternal kingdom. A marvelous truth that only believers of this present age possesses. Oh, glory to God. This is something to give God show for. So as we go into the text, verse 1 said that we were dead in our trespasses. And in our sin. And this is a sober reminder of the total sinfulness and lostness from which believers have been redeemed. The Bible said we were in our trespasses and in our sin. This indicates the realm or the fears in which unregenerated sinners exist. They are not dead because of sinful acts that they have committed, but because of their sinful nature. Born in sin, shaped in iniquity. We cannot escape this. We didn't cause it. But my God Almighty Father, as we enter into this world, irrespective of how humble and how innocent we are, it is God's words, it's God's law. We born in sin and we shape in iniquity. Why? Because man has transgressed. So Paul writes of the great gift God has given on them through his son. Second Corinthians 9.15 said, Because of Jesus, they are not merely bad people made good, but dead people made alive. Give him praise for that. So when Adam and Eve sinned, in the garden of Eden according to Genesis 3 they brought both physical and spiritual death into God's perfect world Romans 5 12 said wherefore as by one man sin enter into the world and death by sin so death passeth upon all men for that all have sinned the moment they transgress God's law their eyes were open and they realized they were naked according to Genesis 3 7 for the first time mankind tasted rebellion and was awakened to the difference between good and evil with one forbidden bite their souls and their bodies began to die Amen. oh glory to God and God himself made the sacrifice required to atone for that sin Genesis 3 21 the first physical death should have been the man and his wife but it was an animal a shadow of the reality that God would someday kill a substitute to redeem sinners glory God established the principles that only through the death of a perfect substitute could a sinner glory to God live this began the unfolding of God's unloving 
ultimate redemption plan by which he would make the ultimate sacrifice to atone for the sin of this world. John 1st John 2 verse 2 said and he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only but also for the sin of the whole world. Glory to God in saying this and saying that and we lift our hands and the Bible said we are to repent. Glory to God we are to confess and we are to believe and things happen. Hello here somebody. My God the state that we were born in we are now out of it. My God it's good to live in that. My God just like us, we have our motor vehicle and we drive it. Hello, here somebody take us from one point to the other. But you gotta check the mechanic to tell him he will tell you about the mechanics, how the liquid, the gas when it ignite by the engine, the liquid become gas. Give the engine power to turn over to carry. Hello, here somebody, and this is what God is using Paul to break down the mechanics that we can be assured that when trouble or anything, even the devil, the flesh, the world, and the system that govern the world come upon us and we can look at it, speak at it as if we know what we're doing and with all the brilliance we have on the inside, can we give him a praise and when the devil come upon you, it's no time for butt butter when the world come up it's no time for butt butter it's when the flesh and sin but the word of God supposed to be flowing oh God almighty can we give him a praise and give him a glory the Bible said because we know the wrath of God we persuade men hello Oh my God, what we carry, it, my God, it's supposed to be so persuasive that when a sinner sit beside you, when you worship that sinner, my God, my God, the Holy Spirit, lift up a standard over that sinner, that that sinner start to smell their flesh burning in hell and start to cry to a God. And I hear somebody. Can we give him praise and give him glory? So here is Paul working through the mechanics glory. So God, and this is one of the things that baffled them. My God, unregenerated men. God predestined his purpose. And God leaves men to their free will. And God accomplishes his purpose without violating his word or his character. What a God. Hello, yes, somebody. So when God speaks a thing, irrespective of what, God of a time sees, my God Almighty, for that word should be come to pass. And irrespective of how he leaves us up to our free will, God's will, the purpose come to pass. Hello, here's somebody. Give him a praise and give him a glory. So no matter what the situation you find yourself in, whose report will you believe? My God, we're going to believe the report of the Lord. When nothing is not happening and we trust God, that's faith. And every man laugh when Noah was building the boat, but God given direction, God given concept and precepts. Hello, here's somebody. God give him all the resources that he need. It was foolish to the world. My God Almighty. But when God speaks, it brings blessing and judgment at the same time. Can we give him a praise and give him a glory? For God, he is a great God. So when God predestined a thing, it surely will come to pass. So before we surrender to the Holy Spirit urging, our spirit are dead to the things of God. Romans 8, 8 said, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. My God, we have no good thing with 
religion ourselves, no desire to submit him to our creator. We were dead spiritually and have no way to make ourselves alive. Just as a corpse cannot do anything for himself. Hello, here's somebody. So we cannot save ourselves and make a move to cleanse our sins. We cannot even produce the desire to obey God. We were dead because of our sin. Dead people need a life giver. John 1 4 said, Jesus said it, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Why we praise God is not that I did exist, because to God we are dead corpse. Hello, yes, somebody destined for hell. But why we praise God is because God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Hello, yes, somebody, for us to enjoy the good news. And we have to first know about the bad news. Because why you should rejoice over things when you believe you have a right. But when you realize you didn't have no right, you were cut off. Hello, yes, somebody. Lost and undone. Hello, yes, somebody. Wasn't thinking of him. You have no desire, nothing inside to propel you to give God praise. And hello, yes, somebody. And you realize everything you are doing now and what you will be doing, it's all because that he set his love upon you. Hello, yes, somebody. You will give him a praise and you will give him a worship. Hello, yes, somebody. Can we bless him in this house? And I for all that he have done for us. And my God. So we were dead in our trespasses and in our sin. I could help myself. Hello, yes, somebody. Just like you're born in this world. You cannot unhuman yourself. You are a human. Once you're born upon this earth, you you cannot be a reptile. You are a human. You got no choice. Hello. Likewise, you're born in sin. You have a sin nature. You only can't sin. You can't praise God. You got to lie. You got to cheat. You got to worship the devil. So when we see people in the world, they can't help themselves. You just got to pray. Hello, yes, somebody. No matter how they have a bad habit or an addiction, they can't break it. Hello. Because they have a nature gravitated to sin. Unregenerated man love their sin. Hello, yes, somebody. It's not easy to give up sin because you're born in it. It's just like taking a fish out the water and say you can't survive on earth. It's totally impossible. It's like taking a bird from the sky and put him under water and say, trust me, you can survive. Hello. Hello, yes, somebody. Sacrifice, it take a belief, it take a God Almighty. I said to answer to Jesus, it's not easy. Hello, yes, somebody. Oh my God, it's hard to leave the known and go to the unknown. Hello, yes, somebody. It take courage, it take God, then the Spirit of God. Hello, yes, somebody. You know what you have given up. Hello, yes, somebody. My God, some of you, life physically, I said physically, it could be better on earth. Hello, you, somebody. But my God, Moses said, he rather suffer. My God, I like him. With the affliction, I'd rather be a slave. Hello. And enjoy the luxury, even for a season. Hello, yes, somebody. Oh, God, I wish you could feel what 
Hello, yes, somebody. Oh. My God, because some things you, I don't know why God came in this way. You turn your back on it, bring you pain, it bring you sorrow. But at the end, God is saying, just trust me, just trust me. It cause of pain, you're praying, nothing ain't happening. But God said, pray. And the chains seem like it drop tighter. God said, pray. Hello, yes, somebody. You want to move out of the will just to ease your pain. But God said, suffer with me. Hello. That's God Almighty. Breaks pain. But at the end, oh God Almighty. Oh, Jesus, give God praise. Oh, oh Lord, my child. Oh, oh Lord. Tell somebody over the area where. Oh, Lord. My child. Child. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. So when we respond to the Holy Spirit calling, we repent of our sin and exercise faith in the Lord Jesus. God forgives our sin, crediting us with the righteousness of Jesus. And you know what that means? Glory, all our sins, past, present, and future. God place it on Jesus and take all Jesus' righteousness and place it on me. But my God, but when it comes down to Jesus, he didn't just take that, but he bring it and nail it to the cross. And oh, you're somebody. He nailed all my pain, all my sorrow, all my sin. Hello, you're somebody. So Jesus, he didn't went to the cross alone. He went with my sin, went with my failure, went with my rejection, went with my lonely bar. Hello, went with all my tears and my suffering. My God, I nail it and with him to the cross. Give God a praise. Uh, glory to God. My God, so when we confess, uh, my God, Jesus, God, now send the Holy Spirit uh, to live inside of us. Uh, there's a Greek word named pneuma, P-N-E-U-M-A which means breath or wind. Uh, glory at the moment of conversion. The breath of God fills our bodies uh, and the dead spirit uh, come alive. Uh, the new spiritual life uh, goes to work transforming us from lifeless and sinful corpse uh, to vibrant living children of God. Uh, my God, 2 Corinthians 5 17 said, therefore if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold all things uh, become new. Uh, my God, every human being uh, in the world exists uh, in one of two categories. Uh, spiritually dead uh, or spiritually alive. Uh, religion cannot make a dead man live. Uh, good works, effort, and tradition may look like uh, good works. Uh, hello, here's somebody like life to other dead people but they have no spiritual power to transform from the inside you might change your clothes change your job but you still remain a dead and helpless sinner hello here's somebody but even when we lose our job lose our flesh my god our inner man is renewed daily hello here's somebody my god almighty can we give him a praise because I worship him in spirit and in truth hello yes somebody my body he may connect to the earth because it's going back but my spirit hey 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 is in a vertical mood my flesh might be in a horizontal 
lift up my God move it from the horizontal lift it up to the vertical hey my God Almighty look unto the hills from whence come it your help your help comes from the Lord shall not suffer your foot to be moved he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep he will be my shade upon my right hand hello hear somebody you gotta talk it you live by it it's a spirit of God taking the things from Christ and teaching it to you give God a praise it's a breath of God blowing within your lungs causing your vocal to utter the word and the word shall not come back unto him void but it shall accomplish everywhere it's sent send it in your life send it in your prayer send it in your worship send it in your situation send the word no matter how you have your vocals and your vocabulary integrated with the word of God and watch the mix hello hear somebody can we give him praise wherewith shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed fear unto the word hello hear somebody give him a worship and give him a praise oh. yeah. new creature in Christ my God Almighty so Ephesians 1 4 said according as he has chosen us and this is where they are critical now in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him and when you read this before you want to my God you just want to trust the Bible because it will mess your psyche up hello here's somebody hello here's somebody you got to trust God so God Almighty and why God can predestine he did this because he's transcendent yes. hello going beyond ordinary limits surpassing and exceeding the universe time and space having continuous existence outside the created world free from the limitation inherent in matter what a hello here somebody hey 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 my god that's the god who we serve i say give him a praise that's the god so no matter what the limitation barriers and layers god, hey, 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 my god almighty my god we know that god worked behind the scene but here it's saying god worked beyond the scene hello yeah while there was nothing to see god was working beyond the scene that's the God who we serve. Hello, yes, somebody. Mm, my God. So for us now, so this now, God predestined us. Look at this. Before God let there be light and we believe in the divine my God selection God select hello here somebody so when God choose God don't make a wrong move as what I said God predestined and still leave man up to their free will either to accept or reject but what God purpose it will work out hello here somebody and the Bible said that we are predestined it's good for God to do that why because there wasn't anything and there wasn't nobody nothing to violate God's words and God knows everything so the very intelligent mind would say God can't say anything because there was nobody to defile his will plan our purpose hello here somebody but when God start to create now and man now come upon the earth and start to violate God's will and start to violate God's purpose tell me now how on earth can God's word now come to pass his ways are higher than our ways his thoughts are deeper hello here's somebody this is a God of intelligence hello that even when pain taking this body and I am only groaning the spirit of God no more to interpret hello here's somebody even when I just have a sigh oh, glory to God the spirit of God knows to take my groaning and bring it as a dialogue before the 
Father. And I'm only groaning. But the Spirit search the deep things of God. And I yes, somebody. And bring my infirmity to the God who speak and bring things to pass. My God Almighty. So the world now is in sin. Man is destined to go to hell. Hello, here's somebody in there. And we want to add this to our vocab when it comes on to God. God is the creator. God is the author. And when God speaks a word, what the devil does, what the flesh does, and what the system of the world does is try to go against what God has already said. Because there is can be no other new word. Hello, here's somebody. He is the word. And you can't go outside of it. The devil could have had anything. But what the devil does on the flesh and the world is just to go against what God has already said. So there is nothing new. Can we give him praise and give him glory? Because the devil, the world, the flesh know that there are consequences either choosing God or rejecting God because he is the word. You cannot bring a new law to this. He is the law giver. Can we bless him? Can we give God praise? Just chuck him our lives. There's nothing new the devil come with him. What he come with him is that we violate what God has really said. Hello, can we give him a praise? Hello, yes. Glory to God. So this now, how can my God I'm coming? How can now when man have messed up and God said he predestined and man messed up the system because the devil knows it was God who brought everything into being and the God that he knows hello here's somebody if I can mess up man and woman God have already said multiply that mean God could have made nobody else hello here's somebody you got to watch how the devil move he knows that God could have made nobody else because God said multiply and fill the earth now if I mess you up tell me now how can God righteous standard fulfill in your life the devil know the heights where we have fallen from he know the intelligence and the magnitude of God hello here's somebody glory to God in the heights but the Bible said my God Almighty uh, Jesus now uh, 2nd Corinthians 5 21 for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin uh, that we might be made uh, the righteousness uh, of God uh, and this is where John 1 comes in now in the beginning was the word uh, and the word was with God uh, and we go down further and say that the word now became flesh uh, the spirit of God move upon Mary as what Gabriel would said my God Almighty and inside of the very womb the spirit of God was like a layer and a barrier that no sinful nature would live from Mary oh God come on this is a natural birth that happened supernaturally oh god i wish i got time let me know let me go hello here's somebody because of respective of who born upon this earth you carry a sinful nature god bless us with two children and so one of them carry my gene that keep me on my knees and another one carry the mommy gene hello here's somebody but when jesus came he carried one gene and that is of the father hello here's somebody he only carry the humanness because he cannot um, violate uh, his very law. The devil was watching.
preaching a lie yes somebody to hold God a ransom yeah, yeah. oh my God oh. but this was a perfect sacrifice hello here's somebody and after the devil believe the devil see that he couldn't mess that up we know he tried to kill him my god with an infant stage and when he know he becomes a man he start to test try and prove but we thank god almighty for jesus a perfect sacrifice God himself uh, said I need a perfect sacrifice uh, without blood, without error, uh, no blemish, no sin, no defilement, no lie, no corruption, nothing on the inside. Uh, and Jesus lived that out. Uh, Jesus said, which one of you uh, can accuse me of sin? Uh, hello, here's somebody. Uh, glory to God, no matter how uh, a person tried to live perfect, uh, you raise to a height of prominence. Uh, somebody will dig up something uh, because we were born sinners uh, but when it comes on to Jesus uh, no matter how you dig uh, hello here's somebody uh, my God he came uh, filled uh, with grace and truth uh, his only thing you will find in him uh, grace and truth uh, can we give him praise and, uh, so this is how uh, Jesus came in the world uh, hello here's somebody uh, my God Almighty, so Jesus uh, living that life uh, uh, I'm coming somebody uh, and when he lived the perfect life uh, uh, because he's now going to fulfill uh, uh, what God did in Genesis uh, uh, by taking an animal life uh, for the people's life uh, my God, but Jesus uh, before the very foundation uh, had laid on his life already uh, but here is Jesus now, uh, going to do it physical, uh, because he gonna bring uh, us as a people in uh, hello here's somebody uh, glory to God in the highs uh, so the Bible said uh, in Romans 6 4 uh, therefore we are buried uh, with him by baptism uh, in death uh, so this is telling me uh, when they crucified Jesus uh, hello here's somebody uh, my God Almighty uh, oh God work the thing uh, it's a spiritual thing uh, it's not a mind thing huh? because he's spirit huh? and he's a spiritual God. Huh? So when Christ crucified huh? the day, my God, when I surrender huh? my life to Jesus, huh? my God, this baptism huh? is when I come to God. Huh? It's not literally the water. Huh? It's just an outer expression of the inner desire and choice huh? that I've already made. Huh? It's a spirit of God. Huh? bringing me now in the fellowship of Jesus. The Bible said when that occur, I'm buried with him in his crucifixion. And I hear somebody, what a God, working the thing. The devil didn't know, my God, because we got to be a righteous people. So God Almighty have to work the thing with us as we work through Jesus. Because if Jesus is the door and every man have to go through, we suffer with them that we can reign with them. Hello, you're somebody. We walk in the same path and, and this is God doing the work. So we buried with him by baptism into death that like Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so, we should walk in the newness of life. Hello, here's somebody. A dead man cannot be tempted. Hello, here's somebody. And what God wants us to do is to be dead from the system of the world. Hello, here's somebody. Can we give him a glory? Can we give him a glory? Hello. When you look at Jesus, yes, it was a dynamic life living before the crucifixion because no man ever survived the crucifixion. Hello, yes, somebody. But when Jesus went through death, it's a different Jesus. I'm seen walking. It's a different Jesus. Hello. Hello, yes, somebody. And that is what Jesus.
Jesus want the church to do. Once you accept him, you're a new creature. You don't do the things that you used to do. Hello. Because I die with him. What lifting me up now is resurrection power. What's keeping me is resurrection power. It's a resurrection that makes the difference and in our lives and what the Bible said here but if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in us he that raised Christ from the dead shall also bring your mortal bodies by the spirit that dwelleth in you give him a praise somebody my God Almighty Jesus said now the Holy Spirit that I sent my God this is a spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead when we accept him my God that spirit comes to dwell in us and come to quicken my mortal body I ask the question why not the Holy Spirit quicken my spirit and not my body if my body connect my spirit connect to God why does he my God quicken my body not my spirit hello yes somebody because your spirit God is in full control of that that even when you die it cannot go nowhere else but to God hello yes somebody but you see my body yes it's the temper but it's still exposed to sin and death it's still exposed to the enemy it's still exposed to betrayal it's still exposed to a word that will lock my breath off that's why the spirit got to quit my body hello yes somebody I feel pain in my body not my spirit because you can't touch that hello but you may lock me up you can even behead me you can shut me down that's why God the spirit got to quit my body because I can't be discouraged I can't be fed up hello I can't be broken I can't be discouraged disheartened that's why the spirit got to quit my body hello yes somebody so the devil now watch this and I'm coming down because when man sinned God said from the dust you came so from the to the dust you shall return and that's because of sin hello yes somebody but because of Jesus redeeming blood my God from the dust I rise hello yes somebody it's because of sin that sent me to the dust but from the dust setting yourself I rise hello yes somebody the devil come to steal and to destroy put us in a dead mood hello yes somebody kill your praise kill your worship kill your fellowship because whatsoever dead it must be buried it cannot leave to contaminate the land hello yes somebody it's a law so what the devil want to do is shut you down cause it to be diamond hello because whatsoever die it should be buried it's a law but from the doors I rise hello yes somebody you got to give the devil something to say my God when the demons go to the devil the demon should say hey guess who is back hello yes somebody I thought he would have given up I thought he would have failed this sickness should take him out that discouragement should shut him down but from the doors I rise hello when God had predestined from the doors I rise you gotta personalize it hello you're somebody no matter how deep you are buried in your situation no matter how deep you 
But guess who's back? Hey, somebody trying to shut down your praise. Hey, but from the dust I rise. I gotta shout. I gotta sing. I gotta dance. From the dust, you gotta shake yourself. From the very dust. Hey, you ready? Rise with power. Rise with authority. Rise with clarity. Rise with precision. From the dust. Hello, yes, somebody. You rise. No matter the world system. But from the dust. I rise. From my sickness. I rise. From my dilemma. You better. You better. I say you got power. And I yes, somebody. Rising from my dust. Hey, you got the power. No matter how. The devil tried to bury your children. With the system of the world. Say like Jesus. Call them by the name. Hey. Come forth. Say from the dust. You must rise. In the name of Jesus. Give God a praise here. From the dust. I rise. Hey somebody. I'm coming from somewhere. You're coming from lonely bar. You're coming from the pit. But because Christ. I predestined you. What God am I to live. Can I die. Give him a praise. Give him a glory. The spirit. Of God. Shall quit me. My mortal body. So no matter how. I'm discouraged. Just give me a time. There will be a shaking. There will be a coming together. Because I'm coming up. From the doors. From the doors. From the doors. I rise. The devil mess with God's word. And the devil said you. You come from dust. And the dust. You will return. But the devil didn't believe what Jesus did. But I believe. Hello. Am I your somebody? Pick me up from my lowly bar. Pick me up from my mara. Pick me up from my lowly state. Pick me up from my sin. Pick me up from my rejection. Pick me up from my... Give me my praise, somebody. Give me my praise, somebody. From the very dust. I rise, rising from the dust. Dust is the final stage. Hello, yes, somebody. I said, dust is the final. But from the very dust. Hello, yes, somebody. It's from dust. God called me. Hey, from the dust. He made man say no hard thing for God. When, that when I reach a dust theater for God to remake me, put me back on the wheel and turn again. God know how to make things from the dust. When he made me, he said that's good. And when he made the woman, very good. Hello, yes. What a God. What a God. Can we give him praise? Can we give him glory? From the dust. It's your thanksgiving. But you gotta say, from the dust, I rise. The devil plan was for some of us. Don't have a happy thanksgiving. We should be in sackcloth and in ashes. But we cast off. Hey, and put on our garment of praise because from the dust I rise from the dust from nothing I rise give him a praise somebody 
say this and pass on and I'm seeing God healing yes, yes. there's folks in here that doctors keeping far from you Hallelujah. and God said I'll take care of that Amen. it's already done Hallelujah. from the very dust you rise you leave that in your system from the dust you rise give God a praise while I turn on
mold me and make me into his image. Eve fashions the clay. We are the clay and he's the potter. We will rise from the dust. We thank the Lord. We praise him for the word. We praise him for his servant. We praise him for this house of worship. We heal ourselves to him. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's nothing to add to this word. My soul is blessed. I have been encouraged. This is a word from the throne room from God. Nothing but the adulterated word. I thank God for the word. It is the word that's going to keep us. It is the word that's going to sanctify us. It is the word that's going to heal us and deliver us. Nothing to add to the word. And so I'm going to ask you to stand with me. When my pastor rests at this moment, just come in agreement as we say the benediction and leave this place of worship. And you go and enjoy and fellowship with your family, your thanksgiving. Remember those that don't have. Give thanks. And so, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your servant. And more so, God, we thank you for our set man of this house, Pastor Horrell Richards. We thank you, Lord, that he filled the gap and stand in his place. And we thank you, God, that he has given us the opportunity to share your word. We praise you, God. And today, God, as he has blessed our heart through your prophet Markham, I pray, God, that you'll continue with your anointing rest upon him. Continue to order his steps. Continue to watch over him. Continue to fill his mouth with your word. So, Father, that will give you the glory, the praise, and the honor. Now, Father, as we leave this place of worship, go with us now. Be with us throughout the week, throughout the day. Continue to let your hands be upon us as we commit our lives into your hand. And we tell you thanks. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Go in peace, people of God. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, one and all. Happy.